Hello everyone, welcome to this third video tutorial. Uh, my name is Gibran and in this video I would like to share with you a 9 stage method to obtain an illustration like the one shown on the screen. I'm using the CS4 version of Photoshop and a digital palette. So the first stage is to prepare the sketch. As you can see, it's a sketch drawn with a pencil and a bond paper. So I took a photo and well, there I am copying the part that interests me from the sketch and then I paste it and adjust the levels a little so that is integrated with the background that previously darkened slightly. And then in stage 2 I do a basic shading of environmental occlusion. I do this in a new layer on top of the previous ones. I adjust it to multiply blending mode and with the airbrush and a full black color I paint the areas where the light will not illuminate. Also I lower the opacity of this layer to make it grey. And then, in a layer on top of these two, I like to paint the eye socket of the face separately. Um, alternating between the airbrush and the eraser, I begin to give these first volumes. And we reach stage 3, which consists of given light. For this, I create a new layer on top and I adjust it as a soft light blending mode. And with the airbrush and a pure white color, I'm painting on, on the left side of the, the character. Trying to imagine how the light will affect every surface. And then I create a new layer on top in soft light blending mode again, but this time with the larger airbrush and the opacity decreased. Then I group everything and that will be it for this stage. And then stage 4 is about directly painting the features and other details on a new layer. Stage 5 is about mixing everything with the finger tool. For this, you must first copy everything combined and paste it in a, in a new layer. Uh, 
A tip to make the hair look more natural and dynamic is to paint a few loose hairs. Uh, this way the hair looks much better. Stage 6 um, okay. Stage six is about giving a little texture to the background. I use the splash brush to it and it is the one that I have used through the video. And I alternate it with the finger tool to blend the spots that I paint. And stage 7 is about adjusting the contrast and levels. Here I do it with curves. Stage 8 Stage 8 is to apply color. For example, to paint skin, what I do is create a new layer on top of everything and adjust it as color blending mode. And then, with the airbrush and a very light orange color, I paint a first layer. And then, in that same layer, I lower the intensity of the airbrush and select a pink to lightly paint the cheeks, nose, ears, chin and neck. Then I erase in the parts where I don't want the color to be applied. The hair is the same, but I like to paint it in a separate layer to be able to modify it easily. And now in a new layer I make this vignette effect with the airbrush and a soft pink color. And that layer I adjust to liner on the exposure. Here I paint a couple of elements that I normally like to add to my characters. Now in a new layer adjust as color blending mode with the brush and an orange color I am giving these spots from behind to make it look like this. Finally, stage 9 is about adding details. I always like to add the grainy texture filter and I also play around with the replace color option. That will be all for this tutorial. If there is any topic that you would like me to explain in more detail, please leave it in the comments. If you liked the video, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching and have a nice day.